remember when I hated my life and I you said I didn't, didn't want to die. die. But I did. Hi, my loves. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Not quite. You want me to do it for you? No. Can I try one more time? Yeah. Hi, my loves. Welcome <laughs> back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. If you're new, hi, hello. My name is Loey. That's it. I'm a dumb. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my intro. I love my roommate more than I love anything. Hello, my loves, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, hello. My name is Loey. I have. So so much built up here to show you guys. Um, I kind of stopped doing makeup like PR hauls for a while. I don't really know why. Um, makeup never really stopped like rolling in. It was just sort of that you guys were really digging the scary videos and I was kind of focusing on them. But I have missed doing like a girly sit down like makeup PR haul with you guys and I really need to go through all of this because uh, I'm not going to keep all of it. So I need to like go through and see what I'm giving to friends and family and everybody like that. So today I have a pretty big haul to share with you guys with some stuff I've never really shared in a PR haul before. Also sitting in on this haul, I have my roommate London. Do you want to say hello? Hi, hello. My name is London. Mm, good job. I've taught her well. She literally is sitting in here. She loves, you love hauls more than anything, yeah? They're my favorite thing in the entire Like you watch Tati's makeup hauls. Before me and Lily were ever friends, I used to watch her hauls. And so this is like... Thank you. Hey, the universe comes full circle, guys. The universe truly if comes full circle. If you love Chloe enough, maybe one day you'll be sitting in her room watching. Is this her that one day we're gonna be in Tati's room, like going through her makeup? Honestly, like, Tati. 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 <laughs> Honestly, Tati, hit us up. So I guess the first thing I wanted to start off with is probably one of the most exciting packages, and it's from Smashbox. It is starring at Golden underscore Barbie, who is super freaking pretty. Hello, girl. I've never known who she was before, but. You best believe I'll be following her now. They gave me all of their new cover shot eye palettes. I don't think all of these are new. I could be wrong um, because the packaging of several of these looks similar to me, but unfortunately a lot of my makeup is in Georgia, so I can't like compare and everything like that. But we are going to go through what they did send me. They also sent me their 24 hour photo finish shadow primer, which is one of my all time favorite eyeshadow primers. It's really good. It really locks your shadows in for the day, but I think we'll go through these and see what's inside. You're really getting like the dollar store makeup and like beauty guru edition here. She is Sephora and you are I am legitimately wearing my sports bra from like today and a Nickelodeon t-shirt. So this first one is called the Minimalist Eyeshadow Palette. I, I swear to you, I, I don't know if these are new. I'm so sorry. I wish I was better at this kind of thing. But these shadows are super pigmented, especially the shimmers in them. If we swatched everything, we'd be here for 10 years. But it is really, really pretty and neutral. Okay, so this next one is the Prism eyeshadow palette. This one is really cool. It's like, it kind of um, reminds me of, I had this Kat Von D palette back in the day that literally had this same sort of textured eyeshadow in it. And it says to apply this one with your finger. It kind of like feels like a color pop shadow almost. And it has like that cool sort of duo chromey effect. So that's really, really, really dope that they kind of include like different sorts of finishes. It's kind of like more purpley. It's still neutral and super pretty. We have this one. It is called the Major Metals. Ooh. <gasps> Can you believe? I love shades like that. That is so cool. But again, it has like two more of those like textures where it's like apply that with your fingers for like maximum payoff. So that's, I love that. I love that like companies are being honest because sometimes shadows just like apply better with your fingers, you know? This one is called the Pinks and the Palms. It literally looks like Florida to me. Shout out to you Floridians. Um, but it has some neutrals, some pinks, some corals, a random green in there. Oh my God, this one's so pretty. It's called the Bold Glitter. Oh my god, she's cute! I will be whipping her out on like New Year's Eve. I love that. That is so cool. I literally never wear like exciting makeup. We we have the technology. We, the technology. we can do exciting makeup. This one is the Punked Eye Palette. It's like a little bit more cool toned. It's really pretty. Um, I don't really use colors like that, so that might go on to someone who would. But then this one is nice and warm toned. This one is called Petal Metal. And I think it's really cool. So I'm excited about those. Again, I have tried the cover shot eye palettes in the past. Most of those looks brand new to me. Um, they might have just sort of revamped them and added a few more shades. So I'm really excited. Next up, we have the Balm Jour Creamy Lip Stains. And they sent me the special edition 40 out of 1,000. I feel very lucky that I'm number 40 on their PR list. Like, thank you. Ow, your face is on it. My face is on it. That is so cute guys that's adorable i'm gonna like 
Is it wasteful to keep that? Probably, but I don't care that much. Um, we have these creamy lip stains, and they are the shine and stain. So there is this whole range coming out. It does say that the launch date is summer of 2018. I don't know the exact date, but I kind of want to swatch at least one or two of them for you guys. Um, this shade looks really cool. It's called Salute. It just looks like my everyday sort of like pinky, mauvey, nudie, perfection sort of shade. It looks really like nice and thick too. Ooh. Oh, she's pigmented. We love a pigmented queen. Oh. Yes, mama. Yes. We are in the future. Okay, I want to do another one. Let's do Nihau because it looks like a really pretty, like, kind of ready shade. It looks kind of warmer. I love shades like this, especially in the summer, too. Ooh, it is. I've been, like, loving a red lip lately. This looks really cool, though. It didn't say super duper glossy. It's already sort of drying down. I do think they'll have a bit of a shiny finish to them. Oh, this is more of a true red shade. It's more of, like, a cherry red, but it's still super pigmented and really, really, really pretty. I'm super excited about those and excited to play with, like, a slightly different finish in terms of liquid lipsticks. Is it everything you'd ever want? It's everything I ever need. And it's here right in front of me. This is definitely where I want to be. This is where you want to be. Next up, we have some stuff from Pop Beauty, who sent theirs really cute. They all sent them in like these little like um, cards about each and every single one of the packages. It's like, get ready to crush this pop quiz. And it basically is like, can you guess the shadow's name? And all that kind of stuff. It's really, really cute. So they gave me a few different liquid eyeshadows. So I have these Pop Flash shadows. And Lennon just said that she has one and that she really likes it. Where did you get it? Um, playlist? Yeah, Playlist. They were at Playlist, like handing out Stuff, but I don't think I ever tried it. Um, this is called Naked Glitz. It's like a really pretty, I'm, I'm such a sucker for like liquid shadows. <laughs> That's so cool. It reminds me a little bit of the Stila ones. Have yeah. you ever tried those? That's mm. what it kind of feels like. Remember when I did that like winged eyeliner and I had the glitter on top of it? Yeah. Oh, Wait, is that? Yeah, it was like <gasps> Queen. This one's called Black Dazzle. It's actually a really pretty, like, I feel like that would be so cool over like a smoky eye. Just give it a little bit of like something. So it's more than just like black. This one is called Cosmic Confetti. I think I would use this one the most. Um, the texture isn't quite as smooth as the others, I will say. It's a little bit, the glitter is a little bit chunkier, but it's definitely worth a little bit of work you might have to put into it. But then this one is called Crushed Copper, and it's like, a, oh, I'm dropping everything. Uh, it's like a pretty rose gold. I really like that. Like, see how smooth that is? I love that. These are so cool. I'm just gonna like start putting every product that I like finish using like on top of the bed so that the background becomes more and more and more cluttered. You know how like other beauty gurus, like they'll put it off to the side, like they'll be professional. Not me. I actually got this palette in from Glam Glow and I'm not entirely sure when they decided to start doing powders, but it's kind of like this uh, highlighting palette. And I was really excited when I saw it because this shade and this shade are like, I pretty much mix these two shades every single day from a NARS palette that I own and I've gone through almost all of it. It is really cool. Um, this first shade has more pinky in it than I wear on a daily, but I'm definitely gonna try this out. It's obviously really pigmented and the shades, this one reminds me a lot of like Champagne Pop in the middle. It's really pretty. That is really pretty. That blends so far. I am confusion. What is that? How does it do that? Oh, this shade is so cool. It just, I don't wear like pinky tones very often, but I might just have to try it. And then coppers like that, I usually don't use. I'm super pale, so I feel like I don't wear like shades like that, but I like to wear them as eyeshadow. The bane of London's existence is that every single day we'll be getting ready. And like, we always get ready together. And cause we're like best friends. And every single day of my life, I'll say to myself, what should I do on my eyes? And all I do is I take a little bit of bronze shadow in the crease and then I put a highlighter on my lids as an eyeshadow. No, the thing that like gets me is that everywhere we go or like any PR that you get that's, that's like a highlight. She's like, oh, that's such a beautiful highlight. Can't wait to use it on my eyes. I hate myself. I'm like, do you have any idea how many eyeshadow palettes you own? No. And I don't use you them. don't use them. You I use, use highlight, highlight and bronzer yeah. on your eyes. That's what I do. Next up, we have some stuff from NARS. We love a NARS haul. Um, I have this, and I just feel like I never use palettes like this, like lip palettes, but why would you ever need to buy another lipstick if you had this? And they look really, really, really pretty. Like, there are so many shades. Literally, these first five shades I could consider myself wearing on a daily basis. And then this one, that's just, like, my fancy girl kind of shade. You know what I mean? But um, it's the 7 Deadly Sins Lip Palette. It also came with a little NARS lip brush to apply. I feel like I just need to give it a shot. You know what I mean? Like, maybe I'll love it, and then it'll be, like, the most amazing thing in the world. Like, I don't have to take all my lipsticks with me when I travel. Then I also have here the new NARS Brow Perfectors. I have not tried these yet. I only have a few of the shades. Well, I have 
like five of the shades left. Um, but I gave a few shades to London, and you said you really liked it. Mm. It's like really, really nice and thin. Let me see. It has a spoolie on one end, and then it has the actual pencil on the other. Definitely as thin as like Brow Wiz. This shade in particular is called Blonde Cool. They have a lot of shades. Like that is fairly light. Um, but I mean, it was super pigmented. It doesn't seem too hard. It doesn't seem too soft. So I'm definitely, I, I'm very weird with my brow products. I don't like to try new things very often, but I am really stoked about these. There are two new NARS eyeshadow quads. This first one is called Mojave. It's really like, look at that shade, you guys. Like, uh, we love her. I love colors like that so much. It's like a uh, taupey, but it's warm and it's, oh yeah, you should. Somebody will be borrowing it. Me. And then we have this one that you'll probably also be borrowing because it has like gold and like cranberries and all sorts of pretty beautiful shades. I love like the golds in here, especially like I love that champagne. It's kind of bronzier than, a, yeah, it's a lot bronzier. Oh my God, it literally looked like a champagne in the tin, but it's like a bronze. I do have some of the new Plenty of Pout lipsticks from MAC. These are really cool. They're just like super duper duper moisturizing and they actually tingle and plump the lips. This one in particular is called So Swell. It's like a really, really, really beautiful kind of everyday sort of nude. This one is called Crazy Lush. I thought it was Crazy Kush for a minute and I was like, Ooh, Mac. Dang, Mac, what you doing, girl? This one's really, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we love her. And they're like so hydrating and like tingly and they feel really nice. I wore one the other day with like no other makeup so I looked like a crazy lady, but the color payoff was really good. It lasted all day, I absolutely loved it. It was actually this shade, um, which is called Smooth Going. And it's like this really pretty kind of peachy nude. We love her. This one is called Nicer Than Nice. It's just a pretty pinky shade. I love colors like that in the summer especially. And then this last one, it's like a really bright coral fuchsia thing. And it's called Ample Chic. And I actually really like that too. So really excited about those. And then they also sent this Plenty of Pout Plumping lip gloss. That was quite the tongue twister there. It's just like a sheer sort of pinky shade and it's very tingly and definitely plumps up those lips for the day. Singing I la la love you. At least I think I do. This is the new Urban Decay Lo-Fi Lip Mousses. I also got in the Born to Run palette, but I'm sure most of you guys have seen that and have already like opened it and used it and I love it. Um, these are really cool because they're defined as like a modern matte finish. They are weightless and supposedly waterproof. I don't know which shade should I do. I'm really leaning towards this guy, like up here. He's been calling my name since like the product came in. It's called Wavelength, and when you open up the box, it's like a little compact, and it literally almost looks like a cream blush inside. Like it's literally like a, I, I don't know, I've never really used a lip product like this before, and it feels like a ColourPop cheek blush. That's it. Yeah, try that. It's so weird. But let's see how it swatches. Oh. It's like super like oh. moussey. So my genius of a roommate just showed me that actually down here there's a little applicator so you don't just have to like put your finger in there like, I don't know, a heathen? The shade is really pretty. That is so cool. I am really excited. It's just such a different like formula that I'm almost, I don't know, I'm kind of scared, but we'll see it and I'll put it through a wear test and hopefully it's just like my new favorite thing because it feels really thin and one of the biggest things that I hate about liquid lipstick is I love the finish, but I hate how like chalky and gross my lips get by the end of the day. So the formula of this feels thin enough that it wouldn't do that. So I got in some new goodies from Profusion. They are a super affordable brand and they're always coming out with like new, fun, massive palettes and kits. First off, they sent me this little like notebook with a pen. They know this is the way to my heart because a girl likes to take some notes. I just like to doodle. They sent this little brow kit. It's actually medium to deep, so I think this is going to be passed on to a friend, but it comes with a brow primer, a brow, um, like, light sort of shade, so it's like for highlights or whatever, and then two darker shades and a brow pencil and a clear gel and some tweezers. So this is a really nice kind of full kit, um, but 
I have relatively light hair, so I don't tend to use super dark brow products. I also have this Lips to Go kit. It's kind of like a matte lip cream along with a lip liner and kind of a sparkly sort of lip topper. I love little kits like this because it's kind of like you can start off with one product and sort of like transition your way up for special events or whatever that you're doing. We have this new Blush and Glow 2 palette, and this is actually really, really, really pretty, although... I'm gonna take the plastic off. Oh, she's even prettier now. This is gonna be a really pretty fall palette, I think. I love shades like this in the fall. I love shades like this now. This looks like a great eyeshadow. <laughs> you didn't laugh. It's a highlight that I'm gonna use as an eyeshadow. I love you. <laughs> then a few different highlighting shades. Obviously, these are really pretty. Profusion is so like high quality and everything is always just so pigmented. Like you really can't go wrong and it's so affordable then we have the sculpt and glow palette this has some beautiful 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 highlight shades and then some nice matte contour and like a matte highlight shade down here this shade in particular is like my favorite i feel like that's like so pretty oh my god i love that and then the contour shades are super pigmented as well i tend to use a slightly warmer contour too and i feel like these are right on the money for me those are really 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 pretty I'm gonna have to try that tomorrow. Then we have this Sienna's 21 shade eyeshadow palette and dual extended brush. I was actually gonna use this today and instead I used um, a palette from Makeup Revolution actually that I got at Beautycon and I love. But this is gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of like a Violet Boss palette or like a Huda Beauty. Like it is so pretty. The pans are massive and we're just gonna kind of swatch a few shades at random here. And I mean, hello, hi, how are you? We're doing great. We can get an eye look with her. Oh my. Oh my. That burgundy shade had a little bit of fallout, but other than that, like, we're impressed. That's nice. I'm really excited about this. I actually literally learned about this the same day that I got it in the mail for PR. ColourPop was very sneaky with this one, and so was my friend Kathleen, because Kathleen Lights and ColourPop dropped a new collection, and it is called the Zodiac Collection. The first thing is actually the Zodiac Palettes. Dun, 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 dun. I'm a Taurus Gemini cusp and you are Virgo. you're a Virgo I think you're a cancer but of course you're not I'm a Virgo these are really pretty I love how this is laid out I'm not super into astrology or anything like that I know when the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette came out um people were like confusion about it uh because like oh, by the way I know it's confused I just say confusion is that like am I okay um, people weren't like into it, but I feel like this matches well. Like I feel like the colors all work for the signs, but I love ColourPop, love their packaging, love their formulation. They never really do me dirty with that. Mm. Taking out the trash. Okay. We have two Supernova shadows, one in the shade Constellation and one in the shade Astrology. Both are truly, truly, truly gorgeous. I think this shade is one I'd wear more regularly. My my poor hand is so stained from all like the lipsticks. It's just like slowly staining pink. Um, but that is a really pretty shade. And I do love the Supernova shadows. They have a really nice texture, a really nice formulation, and they do stay on super well. This one is like cool. It's like kind of a greeny gold. I don't know. I never wear colors like that, but I'm going to give it a shot. We have two new Lux lipsticks. These are in bullet lipstick packaging. This one is in the shade What's Your Sign. Really, really, really pretty nude. I've been more into nudes lately. I don't know. I, usually I go for like a pinky mauve color or more of a coral color, but lately I've been wearing true nudes and I really liked it. And then this, I say as I open the other one, this one is called Scorpio Moon. And oh my God. Oh my God. Is this allowed? Is that allowed? Then we have a highlight in the shade on the cusp, and oh my, it literally perfectly matches the eyeshadow too. That is gorgeous. This one is called Fire, and it's a bit more coppery. The texture of these is so nice. Would you touch that? It's like even better than it's been in the past. What? Yeah, it's like creamy. It feels like... It feels like water. Yeah. Like, it's like... It's so intense, but it's beautiful on the skin. I mean, the, oh my God. So I kind of saved the craziest part for last. Um, London and I actually went to a YSL event. This bag is empty. <laughs> um, 
what was it like last Monday or something like that and it was beautiful it was held at a house in the hills we had free alcohol all night we got to swatch all of their new and upcoming products we got to get foundation match so in terms of the makeup that we got um, I got this foundation in the shade warm ivory it is the YSL stick foundation I did try it the other day and I think I just want to work with it a little bit more I tend to use very liquidy and like thin foundations um, on the everyday like some of my favorites are the um, happy foundation from Benefit Cosmetics. I love like the Tarte um, Shape Tape foundation. I really like the Marc Jacobs um, like foundation concentrate. What is it even called? I don't even know. I've used it so much at this point. I've just forgotten. It's just the Marc Jacobs foundation. So I'm not really used to more of like a like texture like that so i definitely want to work with it a little bit more I love it. it's so good. you yeah you've been using it like every day recently they also gave us a lipstick my shade was in the color 01 i have so many of these ysl lipsticks and they're just beautiful i mean come on like that is the prettiest red i think i've seen in my entire life if a foundation, a lipstick that are worth like $100 wasn't enough, if a party in the hills wasn't enough, if meeting the ysl team and having a beautiful night wasn't enough we opened up our gift bags when we got home that night. And inside was this YSL clutch. So mine was actually red, but I gave it to London because I liked hers better and she liked mine better. So um, it's like this really pretty kind of, what, what would you even call this? Like a corally fuchsia sort of? I don't know, it's really beautiful. It's like massive and gorgeous and <sighs> these bags cost like $900 and they just gave it to us after like giving us the most magical night of our entire lives free makeup free alcohol nurturing our souls and our minds they just gave us a bag i cannot believe this is real ysl is far too generous we are so fortunate and i'm so freaking excited about this um as i i literally sit here in my like nickelodeon t-shirt i'm not worthy okay so that was my first VR haul in a while. I'm obviously a little bit rusty, but if you guys want me to make a little bit of a comeback to these, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you all so very much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.